Welcome back. Today we'll be doing geometric sequence and series practice session. Let's get into it. So, sequence is the same thing as progression. Remember, a sequence has a comma, a series, you're finding the total. Say geometric progression or GP or geometric series. So, a sixth term of a GP if you have 4, 8, and 16. Now, if you look at the GP, we have 4, 8, and 6. When you subtract 8 minus 4, you realize we're getting what? 4. If you subtract 16 minus 8, you're getting 8. So it cannot be an AP because when you subtract, you should be getting the same value. Now, with an AP, we have to divide to get the common ratio. So 8 divided by 4, you get 2. So this is the second term divided by the first term. Or you can see the third term divided by the second term and we arrive at the same two. So with an AP, when you divide, you get the same value. So that is why we have R to be two. Now A is always the first term, so it means A in this case is four. So A is equal to four, because it's the first term. Now once we have all of this information, what is A, what is R? We can go ahead and calculate the sixth term. The term form is what we have here, a to the r in minus one, where we know that a is four, r is two, and any six because you see the sixth term. So you have six minus one. So before multiply by six minus one is five. Do not enter. This as is in the calculator, easy to make a mistake. So six minus one is five. So you enter two to the fifth, and some persons off, I know that two to the fifth is 32. So you have four times 32, which is what we have here to give you 128. So the sixth term is 128. Example two. Which term of the GP 5, negative 10, 20, negative 40 then is 320? First thing we need is what is A and what is R? So A is always the first term. So the first term is 5, so that's how we have 5. To find R, we see the second term divided by the first term, and so that's how we arrive at negative two, or you could say 20 divided by negative 10, or negative 40 divided by 20. So R is negative two and A is five. So what we're going to do is have the term formula T A to the R N minus one. We know that the term that we have is 220. And we know that A is 5, R is negative 2, and we're trying to find out what is N, so we have N minus 1. So that is what you're seeing right here. Divide both sides by 5. So 5 into 320 would give you the 64 equal minus 2 to the n minus 1. Now, the next thing that we can do, well, you can guess to find out. So what really happened here is that Basically, you get to find out. Let me just erase. So we have 64 equal minus 2 
to the n minus 1. So we have to think about which value of n I have to have. You could do that where which value of n I need to have so that it gives me 64. So we know that 2 to the 6 gives you 64. So if I, I know that I have to put a 7 here, so that 7 minus 1 gives you 6. Or you can rewrite this as base negative 2 to the 6 equal minus 2 to the n minus 1. So minus 2 to the 6 is the same thing as 64, and you can calculate that. So you get it the same base. And we know from indices, once they're the same base, we can cancel. So that's why we have n minus 1 equals 6 here, and then carry it over. So you have n equals 6 plus 1 to give you 7. So it means that 320 is the seventh term. So Sandra D is planning to buy a motor car. On April 1st, she opened a savings ac account with $500. She decided to double her savings on a monthly basis and so on. May 1st, she, she deposited $1,000 to her account. On June 1st, she deposited $2,000 to her account and so on. Assuming that she continued saving at this rate, what was the total saving on September 1st? So first thing, she started saving in April. So that means my A is equal to 500. My common ratio is two because of two things. You can either see that they say she doubled her savings every month, so it means R is two, or you could see since in May she has a thousand and she started off with 500, you could divide to get the same value, which is two. Now they want to know her total savings in September. So her total savings in September, you come from April to September, you will have six months. After getting that, you substitute into the formula. Now we know A is 500, R is two, N which is six, R, which is 2 minus 1. So this part you enter in your calculator, now 2 minus 1 would be just 1. So by right, this will not affect anything. So you will have 2 to the 6 in your calculator, minus 1, you get the value. 2 to the 6 is 64 minus 1, that's 63 times 500 will give you 31,500. So no, the next question is, how long did it take for her to see 511,500? No, A remains the same, R remains the same. What they're really asking is, what is N? So we know that the sum, the sum is 511,500. We also know that A is 500 and R is 2. We don't know what is N, so we leave it as our unknown. And in the denominator, we place R to be 2. Now, 2 minus 1 will be 1. So by right, this will be gone. So we're just left with 500, open bracket, 2 to the N minus 1. Then we divide both sides by this 500. So this would be cancelled and divide the 511,500 by 500. You'll have 1,023 equal 2 to the n minus 1. Now, carrying over the negative 1 over the equal sign will become positive. So you add the 1, you get a 1,024. Now, from indices, we learned that if I have 1,024, I can change the base. It becomes 2 to the 10. And we know that once the bases are the same, we drop the base. So the answer n equal 10. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe.